Are you ready? Are you ready for? Are you sure that you're ready? I don't think that you are. I'm gonna have to close my eyes because I can't watch myself eating this. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? I can't imagine what happened to your taste buds, but I feel like they got dropped on the head of the child. Will I die? Will I die? I don't know. Will I die? No. What do they put in that? Is there like crack in it? Because I'm like, it's delicious. Okay, I need to stop eating. I can't. I feel like I can't. What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today, I'm giving you my second episode of my series, Snacks by Nats. Now you may wonder, what the f*** is that? Well, I'll tell you. It's a series where I do a face mask while rating snacks. Why? because I love both face masks and snacks. So in my head, it makes sense. No. Now in my first episode, I rated American snacks that I hadn't tried before. If you want to go see that, you can watch it here. Today, we're going to do something different. Actually, it's not It's not different. It's, it's very trendy on YouTube, but it's basically reviewing weird food combinations. Let's just, let's just get right into it. I'm just gonna... Oh, and if you're new here, Welcome. <laughs> my name is Nats. I do beauty content. If you're new and you usually don't watch beauty content, I like to mix it up every once in a while, do some food stuff, because I just I love snacks. I just put the mask in there to like make it make sense for a beauty channel, but it probably still doesn't. All right, so today's mask is a black mud peel off mask. Now, I usually don't like mud masks. I usually don't like peel off masks, but this one, is very gentle. I like this one because it dries down, it refreshes the skin, it exfoliates it very mildly, and it's gentle so when you peel it off it doesn't tug or pull on your skin. All right, do you guys want to see today's lineup? Because it's, it's, it's a pretty impressive lineup, I must say. So this is the lineup. All of this is going in my tummy today which honestly makes me quite worried because i do have a sensitive tummy let's do toast with peanut butter and pickles yes you heard me toast with peanut butter and pickles now the thing is i love all of these things individually and i can actually imagine it coming together quite nice so let's give it a go if you don't like peanut butter, and if you don't like crunchy peanut butter, we cannot be friends. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ow, my arm. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, f oh my God. Oh, I can't do this. I can't, I, I can't. Come on, Natasha. <sighs> what the f <sighs> Trick was to jam a knife in there to kind of like, Loosen up the pressure. Is that what it's called? This is what she looks like First snack are you ready toast peanut butter pickle hmm. It's I thought it was gonna be more shocking than it was <laughs> It's all right. It's not good. It's not bad. It's like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I keep eating it. So it's not disgusting. I guess that's a good thing I don't know uh, what are we reading? We're giving five. A two? A two? This is boring. What do we do now? Let's do... Ugh, I'm not looking forward to this one. Let's do carrot dipped in Nutella. I'm the east. Okay, let's do it. Just because I want to get it over with. All right, I have a little carrot stick. I'm just gonna... I don't know about this. so weird no mm -mm, no i mean literally what you imagine is to taste is exactly what it tastes like it's very sweet and it does nothing for me in life whatsoever so one out of five mm, the next one i'm so excited for we're gonna do mac and cheese and are you ready? Are you ready for- are you sure that you're ready? I don't think that you are. Okay. Are you, should we- okay. Mac and cheese. Applesauce. I think- I think this is gonna be bomb. I think that this is gonna be bomb. 
because I mean mac and cheese is bomb, applesauce is bomb. Well, just let's just see. But the thing is, I've never had one of these like boxed. Um, kind of pre-made mac and cheese from the store. So I'm just gonna try it as it is. Mmm, yeah. it's delicious. Okay, I need to stop eating. I can't, I physically can't. The thing is, what do they put in that? Is there like crack in it? Cause I'm like, I think I could literally eat myself to death eating that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take like, I don't know how much they didn't say and I'm mixing it all together I don't know could be good you know I'm never I don't hate I don't discriminate no 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 the cheese taste totally disappeared which was the good thing about this and now no, but I will eat it all, but no. The apple sauce in the mac and cheese, it was better than the carrots and the Nutella, I'll tell you that much, but two out of a five, yeah, two out of five. Next, let's do honey on cream cheese, okay? So it's right there on the side. Let's try it. Mmm, mmm, it's like a dessert. Mmm. Wow. It's like a cheesecake. Wow, this is like really good if I, you know, have a sugar craving and I don't have anything sweet at home, which I, to be fair, always do, but if shit hits the fan, I can do this. Dare I say five out of five? I think I dare say. Five out of five. That was bomb. Bomb. Okay, this one is a bit weird. Vanilla ice cream and sriracha. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> also, my sriracha looks like it really has expired. So if I die in the next coming weeks from a weird circumstance, some kind of like a bacteria or fungus or something, you. You know what the cause is. Like, I'm, I'm actually quite nervous for this. Will I die? Will I die? I don't know. Will I die? Oh my god, Matt's died? What happened? Well, she got poisoned by an expired sriracha sauce. Actually, it's quite a good. Actually, actually I don't mind that. Let's do it. All right. I'm not going to take too much because I am very skeptical. <clears throat> I don't know what to think about this. I know I don't like it, but I don't know why. Mm -mm. It just it just tasted like sriracha ice cream. Like imagine like a fluffy sriracha sauce that is cold, and there's just nothing. There's just nothing appealing about that. Can I give it a one out of five, but it's better than the Nutella? Like the Nutella should get a zero. Now I changed my mind. Nutella and carrots get zero, none. Sriracha and ice cream, one. Uh, you know that pasta that I showed? Like I'm <clears throat> kind of procrastinating it, but I'm thinking maybe I should just do it to get it done. What do you think? I should do it to get it done. Whoever you are that sent me this, Obviously you hate me and you want me to suffer and I will never forgive you for this. This is spaghetti, smashed strawberries, cream, creme fraiche. What the f is that called in English? And sugar. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'm gonna have to close my eyes because I can't watch myself eating this. In a weird way, it kind of tastes a little bit like a Swedish summer cake, you know, with like lots of cream and lots of strawberries. Because the pasta itself doesn't taste shit, right? And like the cream cheese, it becomes sweet because there's sugar on it. 
And so it's like, I guess it's fine, but like why? I feel speechless because I just want to know what the reason is. Like, what is the reason? What is the reason? What was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? reason. What was the I reason? Just explained. I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I like, you know sometimes when you eat a lot of stuff throughout the day, or at once, you're just like, oh, I had pizza, then I had ice cream, then I had Doritos, then I had Sour Patch Kids, then I had, and then you're just like, I wonder how this all mixes in my belly. And you think of all that food in your belly, and you feel sick. That's what I feel like when I see this. Not because it's disgusting, but good because the idea of it is disgusting. <laughs> One out of five, I'm sorry. Let's bring the Nutella back. Okay, so I have Cheeto puffs. I've never had these Cheetos before. So I'm putting some Nutella on this. I cannot see this going well either, but at least the cheese is like cheesy. So it's better than like a carrot that doesn't taste like <laughs> Anyways, why am I explaining myself? I have higher hopes for this. Okay. No, no. I would never eat this if I had these two things at home. I would never. The thing is, you know when you do weird food combinations and like you like it because the tastes, they marry into something different. That's what you like about weird food combinations. But like when the tastes are still separate when you put them in your mouth and you still like, I oh, will, I taste the Nutella and I taste the cheese doodle, then it's like, what the f is the point? Like it needs to, it needs to become something special, you know? And this didn't. There's, all right, there's nothing to think about. Let's just do it. Oh, I actually don't mind this. I mean, listen, it's not good, but it's a lot better than I expected it to be. The mayo and the pineapple actually marry well together. But like, would I, would I, would I, would it prepare it at home as a snack? Absolutely not. But it's all right, actually. I would give it a three out of a five. Let's do hot Cheetos dipped in cream cheese. So hot Cheetos, cream cheese, dipping it. Do you ever look at someone and wonder mm. what is going on inside their mm. head? I approve. Mmm. I could actually see myself eating this. Four out of a five, yes. Four is fine, yeah, four is good. Okay, the last one that we're gonna do today, I saved it for last because I feel like it's a little bit of a dessert. It's um, bread and ice cream. So I'm gonna make an ice cream sandwich. Let's have an ice cream sandwich. Mmm. Wow. This was so nice. I can imagine it having even better if the um, toast was freshly toasted and like crispy and warm and then the cold ice cream. Mm. I wonder if this one would also get a five out of a five. I think so. This is the shit. So the winner, cream cheese and honey bro. You need to try that. That was that was the best one today. So good. That's also a snack that I'm going to eat because I always have those two things at home. Mmm. Perfect. Anything else? Yeah. Um, excuse you. Who said carrots and Nutella? I can't imagine what happened to your taste buds, but I feel like they got dropped on the head as a child. The carrots dipped in Nutella. I don't I just it was uh, it was so bad. Let me take this mask off. Now see how little this pulls on my skin. It just goes right off. And then you see all the little holes from your pores. That is less satisfactional. I always say. And then the skin feels hydrated and nice and happy. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this little chill mask session where I ate all these weird things. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.